three Republican contests and three different winners. I, I don't even know if you could predict that it would come out this way. And now everyone's headed to Florida. And in some counties there, voting is already underway. Leonard Curry is the chairman for the Republican Party of Florida. And, sir, it's great to have you here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Do you have any reaction to South Carolina and how it may impact Florida voters? What we've been saying for a year is that Florida is going to be the voice and Florida is going to matter. And now with uh, Speaker Gingrich winning South Carolina, it's going to come down to Florida. We, uh, who, whoever takes Florida, I believe, will go on to be our nominee. And historically, are, whoever takes South Carolina has gone on to be the party's nominee. So are you putting uh, your thoughts uh, behind Newt Gingrich now? No, I think Florida is going to remain very competitive and volatile uh, right up until uh, the primary date. We've get, these debates have been uh, critical this, this primary season. And I think we're going to continue to see that with the debate here in Florida on Monday and then the one in Jacksonville, Florida on Thursday. Uh, voters will make up their minds. I think voters in Florida are going to be paying attention to who can best make the case for the free market, free enterprise, and job creation. Uh, that's what our governor is focused on. That's what Floridians are focused on. And that's what af directly affects lives and families. Florida is such an attractive place for many people. One, there's no state income tax. We all remember when Governor Bush was the governor. There was a surplus left on the table. It's a model that many states probably look to and want to follow. It, given that, what is the issue most important to the citizens? We know you have a large elderly population. And full disclosure, I lived there for many years. You have a very large Hispanic population, primarily Cuban, most of whom were leaning toward the Republican Party for many years. But there's been a shift. Floridians are looking for jobs, opportunity, and with that comes the opportunity to fund education and make sure that we have another generation in Florida that can continue to make the state a better state. At this we're point, a diverse then, state, as you go ahead, sir. We're a diverse state, as you mentioned. We represent what the rest of the country represents: a large group of diverse people living and working together in a melting pot. How do you bring all of these voting groups together, the young vote, the independent vote, the Christian conservative vote, the elderly vote? Can you see everyone rallying behind one candidate? And if so, which one? Whichever candidate makes the case, again, for opportunity in the free enterprise system. The free enterprise system has pulled more people out of poverty than any government program. So whichever candidate can, can come with a compelling robust vision of the free market and job creation, I think, emerges as the nominee. Your last governor gave President Obama a very warm welcome. I believe there was a hug uh, on the stadium <laughs> by Governor Christ. When, when President Obama comes to Florida, what type of reception will he receive? Floridians recognize that President Obama has uh, been on the campaign trail. He, he did not focus on what mattered to Americans uh, when, when he was elected, when he had majorities in the House and the Senate. He's now pivoted to try to talk about the economy, but he ignored it for a majority of his administration. So Floridians are looking for an alternative they can speak to and make the case for opportunity and jobs. Last question. South Carolina had been known to be a bit of a mudslinger in terms of advertising. It got a little bit nasty, to say the least. What about Florida? You think your citizens will be bombarded with negative campaigning? I'm, we will. We will see it. I, I would. I would wish. I wish that we would not. I would rather look, tax returns. I don't. Th it doesn't matter to me what my neighbor paid in tax. At the same time, it doesn't matter to me what my neighbor does in his or her personal life. Floridians are looking for a vision for a future. How is Florida and the United States going to be a better place? And whomever is le whoever is leading government. What kind of environment are they going to create for the free market to uh, just give people hope and opportunity? All right, sir. Very clear message coming from you today. Leonard Curry, great to see you. Thanks.